Johan Ashad and I'm an electrical engineer at UET Lahore, uh, new campus. So in this video, we're going to be talking about an academic control systems project, namely automated greenhouse. Uh, now, uh, so since automation is making things automatic, which in this case is regulating different parameters that aid to plant growth, so that they can live past their natural season. At a small scale, let's say at home, it can minimize human care needed. It basically reduces the amount of human effort needed to grow the plants. But if we look at a large scale, it can drastically reduce the labor cost and will also increase the quality and quantity of the plants and will give you a better return on your plants. For our project, we won't be regulating all the different parameters mentioned here, mainly because it's an academic project and we had to work with the money we had, which was very, very, very limited, believe me. So the parameters what will we be regulating are soil moisture level and light intensity. Here is a complete block diagram of our project. It consists of sensors, controller and some actuators. For sensors we are using the soil moisture sensor and for light intensity measurement we are using LDR module. If soil moisture level is low, water pump will be turned on unless it will remain off. Similarly for light LDR module, if light intensity is low, relatively the LEDs will turn themselves on, otherwise they'll remain off. We'll be using Arduino Uno because it's obviously the easiest to use. Uh, other than that, it has a large online community and it's one of the most used mic microcontrollers out there. It's even being used in space shuttles and it has a tons of support online. Now to tell you more about all the sensors, the controller, Arduino Uno, and the actuators, Mr. Usman Ghani will be talking about them in detail. Hey, this is Usman Ghani. I'm here to talk about sensor, actuator, and microcontroller used in this project. First of all, I will talk about sensors. There are two sensors used in this project. First is soil moisture sensor. Soil moisture sensor gives us low output voltage in the case of wet soil and higher output voltage in the case of dry soil and the second sensor is LDR sensor light dependent resistors in the case of high light its resistance will decrease and in the case of low light its resistance will increase and the second thing is the microcontroller used in this project we are using Arduino you know this in this project this microcontroller is very common and the important part of this microcontroller are highlighted the third thing is actuator used in this project. There are two actuators used in this project. First one is water pump used to provide water to our field. And the second one is LEDs used to provide required light to our field. Now my mate Mohammed Imaduddin will further explain. My name is Mohammed Imaduddin from Electrical Department of UT Lahore. I will explain the basic overview for automated greenhouse, block diagram of a feedback control system or automated greenhouse, Basic overview for automated greenhouse is given in this flow diagram. In this flow diagram, we have two choices. First one checking the soil moisture, second checking the light intensity. In case of soil moisture, we will check if soil moisture is low or not. If soil moisture is low, we will turn on the water pump. If it is not low, we will keep it off. In case of light intensity, we will be checking if light intensity is low or not. If it is low, we will turn on the lights. If light intensity is not low, we will keep lights off. Then you can see all of the outputs are converged at a point. That is how it will constantly looped to check the conditions of automated greenhouse. Next is a block diagram of a feedback control system for automated greenhouse. First, we will have our desired value because we know what should be the output and we will compare it with actual value of the system with the help of comparator. By comparing, we will have the difference between the actual and the desired value. It could, it could also have some error. Then this signal is manipulated through control unit. Now this manipulated signal is processed with some disturbance variable and we will have our output which is then given to the sensors and further to the comparator until our desired and actual values are same. That's how all of our automated greenhouse would work. Next section would be described by Ahmed Abu Bakr. Assalamu alaikum everyone, I am Ahmad Obakar and I will be explaining further. 
here's the main circuit now to start with there are mainly two types of pins on arduino board other than power and ground pins the analog pins and digital pins our light and soil sensor output analog signal which are input to the arduino board at a0 and a4 respectively our actuator namely motor and leds require a digital signal to turn on the motor is operated with external 12 volt supply by switching the relay needs a 5 volt signal which is fed through a digital pin 13 the rest of the two are power connections 5 volt and ground the leds require a digital 5 volt signal are connected to digital pins 12 7 and 4 here are the all the components required for this basically there is arduino board then our liquid pump as an actuator in response to the moisture sensor installed inside this greenhouse and here is our relay for liquid pump and also we have LDR on the top of this greenhouse and there are LEDs installed in. let's see the working of this automated greenhouse so initially as you can see the soil inside this greenhouse is very dry so when I plug in this into my laptop it will sense and the pump will start running here the water is being pumped as you can see now the soil is wet so our pump has stopped pumping the water inside the greenhouse now we check the working of our LDR module so for that I have to turn off the lights as you can see there is a little bit light here so only one LED inside this greenhouse is turned on while the other two are closed and if it will get a bit more darker then there will be two LEDs that will be on and if there will be total dark you can see the third LED will also turn on 